Hi, I'm Minnie. In this video, I'll discuss how you can add custom quote tabs that help you display specific information in a quote page. The quote page has default tabs that help to organize the quote details such as customer information or generated documents. Apart from the default tabs, CPQ allows an administrator to add additional custom tabs. These tabs can be used by a sales representative to enter details that supplement the already existing quote information. Let's consider a scenario. I want to add a tab that helps a sales representative enter information on cross-sell products. I'll demonstrate the process in three steps. Adding a general tab, adding a custom quote tab, and creating a custom field. Let's get started. Now I'll demonstrate the first step, which is adding a new general tab. I'll navigate to Setup and click Tabs in the General Workspace. I'll click Add New. I'll enter the name, information on cross-sell products, and a rank of 30, and save. And the custom quote tab that I'll demonstrate a little later in this video, I'll enter a rank depending on where I want the tab to be positioned on the quote page. I want this tab to be displayed in a quote. So I'll associate the general tab that I've created to a custom quote tab. A custom quote tab, as the name indicates, appears on the quote page and can be customized. I'll navigate to custom quote tabs under the quotes workspace and click add new. In the tab name drop down, I can select from a list of general tabs that I want to associate. I'll select what I've just created, information on cross sell products. In the type field, I have two options, implementation file and iframe. Implementation file field is used to select an existing CPQ page that the custom quote tab extracts. For example, I'll select the file that says Shipping Info. From the user end, when I select this tab, I'm automatically routed to the CPQ Shipping Information page. On the other hand, selecting iframe allows me to connect the custom quote tab to a URL or develop a custom logic using the Formula Builder. For this example, I'll leave the implementation file field blank and enter a rank. Rank indicates the position of this tab in relation to the other tabs. The tab with the lowest rank is positioned first, followed by the second lowest, and so on. I want this tab as the last one, so I will enter a rank that I know is higher than the other tabs. After adding a custom quote tab, I'll create a custom field that stores the information pertaining to the custom quote tab I created. I'll click Custom Fields under the Quotes workspace. In the Name field, I'll preferably enter a name that corresponds to our tab. In Type, I have four options to select from. Freeform, Attribute, Date, and long text. Freeform appears in the quote as a text box in which the user can input a value. There are no restrictions on what the user can enter. Attribute type connects the custom field to an attribute. The attribute values appear in the quote as selectable options for a user. The date type allows a user to either manually enter a date or choose a date by clicking the calendar icon. Long text appears in the quote as a large text box in which a user can enter multiple lines of text. There are no restrictions on what the user can enter. For this example, I want the sales representative to be able to briefly mention the cross-sell products for any of the quote items. I'll select free form. The tab field determines the quote tab where the new custom field is displayed. In the tab drop down, I'll select the custom quote tab that I created earlier. I'll leave the rest of the fields as they are for now. I'll ensure that the correct permissions are set so that a user can see the custom field. 
Let's test it now. I'll exit setup and load an existing quote. Notice the tab we've created is the last one exactly where I position it to be. When I click the tab, I see the custom field and a freeform text box where I can enter any text. Thanks for watching.